sorry, I'm trying not to blind you. Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to take a little journey and build a PCB roller. Well, actually I've already built the PCB roller, but I just want to show you how I did it and the different levels we put together. And of course take a look at the finished products. Or product rather. Well, products. I ordered 15 of them. Although I guess it's just one product uh, I got multiple parts of, right? Sometimes I just can't talk. So this video is brought to you and me and all of us here by PCB Way. You know I've been using them to uh, get my PCBs manufactured. And uh, one of the other services that they offer here is PCB Assembly. And they do offer a turnkey assembly process. Which means you supply the drawings and a parts list and they will put it together for you whether it's surface mount or through hole and they offer leaded and lead free so that's pretty cool and I think the best part even for the PCB assembly service is the minimum order is still only five pieces so you if you need five custom PCBs made you can get it done and do it here alright so the PCB ruler is going to be a six inch ruler and what you're looking at here is simply the board outline it is in multiple multiple layers so if we start from the top there is our top layer and you can zoom in here or I can zoom in here and show you you know we've got some trace widths we've got some pad layout got some different component layout parts and one of the things I want you to see is see how I click on this and it is in a uh, different parts each one of those is drawn out specifically and measured just like here that way we can keep everything the same size and it works out okay so that's the top layer and then here is our top silk layer let's put the top layer back with it and then when we zoom in here you get an idea of what we've got going on for the top layer now there's no schematic for this this is all done with the PCB layout part of the program. You can see our different size, SOT 89, SOT 223, we've got a couple crystals, QFN, QFP, SOP, SOIC, even threw in some symbols here so you can tell when you're looking at a uh, an LED which is the anode, which is the cathode, you know there's the flat part, stuff like that trying to keep it useful you know what I mean but there is a lot whoops there is a lot of information packed on here for sure alright so let's look at the bottom layer now where are we at bottom layer come on brain bottom layer and bottom silk so if we zoom in here you can see what we've got on the bottom we've got some other packages we've got our logo we got some BGA stuff so we got all that on the bottom layer and I've done multiple multiple layers like here's bottom mask bottom solder mask then we throw in the top layer top silk, paste mask, solder mask, and then finally when we come up here to these little holes we have the multi-layer which are our holes being drilled all the way through. 
So that's it. I wouldn't call it pretty simple. It took me almost a month to lay all this stuff out. But that's everything there. So we'll send it off to a PCB way and see what we get back, all right? So a week passed and I get a box and PCB rulers have arrived. I don't know if I like the black solder mask on them or not. But here we have them. And we can uh, zoom in and take a look. So here's our top side. I think it's looking pretty good. Again, I don't I don't know that I'm thrilled with the black solder mask because it kind of makes it hard to see some of the things I had put on different layers. So I might redo this with a different solder mask. There's the back side. Um, somebody shot the bear through the head. But what I want to show you is, see what the problem with the solder mask, you can see our measurements here. There's our lines. you got to have the light just right to get to the lines. But let's bring this up here. We'll get as close as we can. Give you a good view of what's going on here. So starting from the left, we have our trace widths. Then we have our uh, SMD pad sizes. Sorry, I'm trying not to blind you. Then we've got some transistors. We have, those are diodes, transistors, crystals, oscillators, some package sizes, even a little bit with font sizes. Then if we flip her over, there's our happy bear. And there are some more package sizes. There's our BGA grids. And finally a TSOP. So that's it. I've got them. They are in stock. Let's see. I've sent some out already to some folks that I talked to uh, before about this. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to get some more of these in. If you are in the United States, you want one. Let me know, I'll send you one. If you're outside the US, of course, you're going to have to pay shipping on them. I'm not paying that. But that's it. Also, if you guys are interested in the files, let me know. I can give you either the PCB layout files or the uh, Gerber files. I can post them and you can uh, make your own rulers. Pretty cool, I think, right? I mean, it seems to be the thing. Everybody has them. Uh, Arduino versus Evil made a ruler. Uh, Adafruit has rulers. DigiKey has rulers. So, Learn Electronics should have its own rulers too, right? Right. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this. Big thanks to the patrons who keep this channel alive. If you're not yet a patron, please consider joining. Buck a month is all I ask. That's it. I'm out. Peace.